Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'll be going over the five ways that keep me consistent inside of Rocket League. Let's get right into it. Before we get into the video, if you do end up enjoying the video, please do hit that sub button and like button as it really means a lot, and it really helps grow the channel. I don't want to take up any more of your time, so enjoy the video. Alright, tip one I have for you guys for getting consistent is practice makes perfect. Now you go into the training section here, and you go into free play. Now, my main thing here is in free play, you want to practice certain things that you want to get good at, right? You want to get consistent with. You want to start with dribbles, in my in my humble opinion. You always want to start with dribbles, because that makes you practice the speed of your car goes to, like, compensate for the ball. Oh, you're going too fast, you're going to drop it. You can practice tapping the, uh, the drive button, right? You don't have to hold it down the whole time, because then you lose the ball, right? Then you get bad flicks, because... Right here, that's going to be a good flick. Going to catch it again. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to lose it. Oh, we're going to take it up off the wall. Whatever, right? Whatever you want to practice and get good with, get consistent with, you got to put the time in to practice it, right? If you want to get good at resets, you practice the reset. Now, the game does not like me, so that was not a reset. But the same thing applies. You practice the reset. Boom. That's the reset. Now, whatever you do after it is up to you. If you just want to practice getting the reset. If you want to practice the after getting reset part, that is also up to you. Because what you do after the reset is purely for me by choice. Oh, I want to go for a double here. Just because of the setup and the way it was. Right. But each person does their own thing, right? Each person has to work on different stuff. So go into free play, go into training, work on something that you want to work on, and get as consistent with it as you can. That's my main thing, and that's how I can get consistent. You know, you know, if you see my shorts, that's how I get consistent enough at the shots to do them, to pull them out in games. Don't get lucky every now and then. <laughs> and yeah, that's tip number one. I'll see you guys in tip number two. All right. Tip number two for you guys is playing the game mode 1v1s. Now, 1s lets you practice so many different things. It lets you practice on-ball stuff. It lets you practice off-ball stuff. High defense or high stress situations on defense, offense, whatever you want to call it. It lets you practice it, right? It's just as good as free play, but there's a person on the other end of it, right? Like, there's the opponent. They get to challenge you and stuff. They get to, like, know when to go for the ball and stuff. Like, let's say right here. Maybe, and you get to learn certain situations, like trial and error. It's a lot of trial and error. And you get to work on all sorts of things, like you're... It just practices everything that free play does, but with the opponent, you know, being there. So maybe, oh, I don't touch it that hard, and, you know, maybe you go back in training and you practice, like, where you touch the ball in my corner there. Practice all sorts of things, right? That's the beauty of ones, and... You know, go into it without caring if you win or lose. Because if you go in caring about if you win, and you don't win, you get mad for no reason, right? If you practice on improvement, surely the, the rank will go up even faster, right? That's the beautiful thing about ones. And, you know, tying into the video helps you practice your consistency. Your decision making, your when you go for the ball. Stuff like that. When you go for the bump, if it's the current current best situation for you to do it, you know, as I said, trial and error, consistency in all of that, right? That's my second tip. I'll see you guys in game number or not game number three, but tip number three. Now, with this next tip here, I might just blow your mind. But tip number three is putting certain hours into the game. Now, believe it or not, you don't need to play 16 hours a day to be good at this game. Me personally, I maybe hover around the two to two to the max six hours a day. And max six is like, I play the game a lot, right? Now, not everyone has that time on their hands. So, you know, if you can work into, maybe if you have 30 minutes a day to play or you don't have every day to play, it's just gonna make it a little bit harder on you. But, you know, if you don't play it every day, you know, you're gonna lose that consistency. You're gonna lose you know, it's not the end of the world either, it's just a fact, right? You're gonna lose that, you know, 
bonus, <laughs> I guess, bonus streak of, you know, practicing something for a certain amount of time. But let's say you have the, in my mind, the perfect amount of time, two hours to play the game. You warm up for like 30 minutes and then you play ranked or whatever for the rest of it, right? Or, you know, even less or something like that. If you're just not having a good day or you just need more practice in something. And that goes back to tip number one and tip number two. You know, if you're not feeling good that day, maybe play some ones. That warms up everything about you, right? That warms your car, your mind, your, you know, mechanics, if you want to focus on that. It warms those up for you, right? Which is why ones is such a beautiful game mode. It sucks that uh, I'm not good at it, right? <laughs> but there's still the amount of time you got to put into the day. But as I said, perfect two hours, you warm up, you practice things for 30 minutes, and then you hop into ranked, whatever you want to work on, whatever you want to play, go do that for the hour and like 30 minutes that remain. And I'm sure, like I almost guarantee it, over time you will rank up. I'm not saying overnight, this is how I did it. I'm saying a logical over a certain amount of period of time, let's say two, three months, at least or at most you will hit your next rank but only if you work on what you need to work on you don't just aimlessly go into free play and hit the ball around and go for some clips if you do that i pretty much guarantee you won't rank up as fast as you will if you work on let's say your your flicks or your fake flicks <laughs> just because the ball popped up a little too high stuff like that like if you really want to work on Getting good at this game, getting consistent at this game, uh, you will work on what you need to work on. I guarantee you will rank up. But yeah, that's going to be tip number three. You don't need to put 16 hours in. Just put what you need to put in and uh, it should work out for you. But yeah, that's tip number three. I'll see you in tip number four. Now tip number four here might mess with everyone's mind here. And I say mine because tip number four is mentality. And mentality is just as important as it is to winning the game, playing the game. And main reason I say winning is because you have to remind yourself that losing is okay too. And everyone loses, everyone wins. It's part of the game. If you don't win, you lose, right? And with losing in itself is blaming your teammates. Now, every time you blame your teammates... You're losing that self-improvement, and you're losing that consistency. Mainly because you're wasting your time, you're wasting everyone else's time, especially in game chat. Rarely people care if you're mad at them in game chat. They're just going to get mad back, right? <laughs> it's just a toxic environment, and that's the main reason why, you know, I don't play this game as much competitively as, you know, I should. Mainly because the game chats just get horrible 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 and if you've been on my streams you know what happens <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say but pretty much if it's not important don't say it that's mainly my rule in game chat is if it's not important i don't say it right you know i may say it to myself but you know it is what it is right but uh yeah mentality keep to yourself and remind yourself that losing is okay that's tip number four. I'll see you guys in tip number five. Now, tip number five. Tip number five is a bit of a different one than maybe you thought I'd say, but tip number five is the grind. Now, what I mean by that is I've played this game long enough to know that it is a grind, right? I've reached high enough rank that, you know, it's more of a grind to reach the next rank, right? It always is that. But with that, it is also important that you don't give up, right? If I give up... In reaching SSL, you know, in my eyes, I failed as a player, as, you know, maybe a person, whatever. And, you know, you give up on the grind, the grind don't treat you right. You know, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. But, you know, if you take a break and you start all over again, like I did, I took a little two month, two month, two week break here uh, a little while back. And, you know, it's taken me a long, long time to get back to normal. Or I would say semi-normal. I still goof. Usually when I don't. Right? And that's still the rust coming off. Right? But 
that is part of the grind. And uh, if you don't use the, you know, three, four other tips that I suggest in this video, uh, you won't stay consistent for that long, right? And as I said in tip number three, you don't have to play 16 hours a day to be good, right? You don't have to put that much time in. You know, you see these streamers play for, you know, six, seven, eight, nine hours a day. And, you know, a lot of it is just, you know, to be there for the content, right? You know, being there to say hi to the chat, being whatever, what's up, right? That's the main part that I think most streamers play for. And, you know, a lot of people won't play their best after like an hour, two hours. So you really see the best of the player, the most consistent part of the player in the first hour or two. Like, unless you can play at your peak top form for more than two hours, you know, I salute you, right? But most consistent thing in this game is fatigue. And if you play this game at a high enough level, like let's say you're uh, GC2 plus and twos, threes, ones, whatever it is, you know a lot more of the game is the mental side of the game. A lot more fatigue mentally than physically, right? You may be moving your hands a lot, but your fingers a lot, but you don't necessarily, you know, move much. So a lot of it goes mentally into the game, right? You don't see a lot of the, a lot of the thought process and a lot of the, uh, the, the game <laughs> pretty much, right? You don't see that unless you're the person and you're thinking it, right? But yeah, that is the grind that is this game. And that's kind of how I stay consistent in this game. I grind, I work on my mentality, I put that time in, I play ones, and I practice. That is the key things to the game that helps me keep consistent and, uh, you know, keeps me playing the game, right? You know, if I give up and I don't play the game, it's going to be harder to get back into the game and it's just going to be as hard, if not harder, to get on the grind again, right? So write it until it dies, right? <laughs> if you want to say it like that or call it like that. However you internalize it, what I'm saying, if you reach to this point, right? If you reach to this point, I greatly appreciate it. And it really does mean a lot. You don't know how much it means, but it means a lot. <laughs> keep it keep it like that. Keep it dark and mysterious. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. hope you gathered something from this video if you didn't let me know down in the comment section maybe i missed something that maybe you thought i'd say or you know if i said something that you didn't think i'd say please let me know down in the comments also if you enjoyed and uh yeah hope you have a great rest of your day night whatever time it is for you and i'll see you in the next one peace